Good evening, I'm Greg Adeline in the First Alert News Center with today's top stories, the top five stories on WISTV.com. Coming in at number five, a man and woman were injured in a boat crash that happened Saturday morning around 1.30 near June Creek in Fairfield County. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources says that both people were hospitalized at Richland Memorial. Authorities say that the man was airlifted while the woman was taken by EMS. SCDNR is investigating. Well, the interim director with the new South Carolina Department of Environmental Services, Myra Reese, spoke Monday to officially launch the agency and explain its roles and responsibilities to the public. She described how the new agency is going to run. DES is one of two new agencies formed after legislators voted back in May to shut down DHEC, the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control. Now, the agency will be responsible for protecting and preserving the environment and ensure that South Carolina residents have clean air, water, and coastal resources. The other new agency formed after DHEC closed down is the Department of Public Health. Coming in at number three, a, a Supreme Court ruling earlier on today regarding presidential immunity. They ruled for the first time that former presidents have broad immunity from prosecution, extending the delay in the Washington criminal case against Donald Trump on charges that he plotted to overturn his 2020 presidential election loss and all but ending the prospects that the former president could be tried before the November election. Now, the Chief Justice insisted that the president, quote, is not above the law, but in a fiery dissent from the court's three liberals, Justice Sonia Sotomayor wrote, quote, in every use of official power, the president is now a king above the law, end quote. Trump posted in capital letters on social media a little bit earlier today on Truth Social after that decision was released, and I quote, uh, big win for our Constitution and democracy. Proud to be an American, end quote. Meanwhile, President Biden also weighed in his campaign, saying in a statement that the Supreme Court's immunity ruling, quote, doesn't change the facts surrounding what happened on January 6th. And now a quick break for this quick message. I don't think anybody who ever saw the devastation of Hurricane Hugo will ever forget it. It completely transformed the state. Homes washed out the sea, boats in the streets, and it was quite the feat for WIS crews to try to cover that storm without power and with all the difficulties that went with that. So covering that storm was something I'll never forget. WIS 10, connection happens here. Welcome back, coming in at number two, in terms of the top five stories right now on WISTV.com, the search for an escaped inmate. The South Carolina Law Enforcement Division is searching for an inmate who escaped a detention center in Elizabethton, Tennessee on June 20th, uh, so just about 11 days ago. Now, according to SLED, investigators believe that 43-year-old Billy Reed Fletcher Billy Reed Fletcher, rather, is in South Carolina. Officials say that he was last seen leaving a Walmart in Greenville County about a week ago. Authorities say anyone who may know where he is is urged to contact authorities. And at number one, the mayor of Somerton, Mac Bagnall, announced his resignation. Bagnall was elected during a special election following the death of Somerton's then mayor, Tony Junius, who died in a car crash in January. In a public letter, Bagnall said, quote, Recent circumstances led him to reconsider his ability to continue in the role. He stated that he has found it challenging to ensure that staff are, quote, adequately trained and informed about current legal requirements and their duties, end quote. Bagnall also stated that his mother's health required more time and attention. He said his resignation is effective immediately. Keith Bowman will serve as interim mayor. And those are today's top stories for all the very latest news, weather, and sports here in the Midlands. You can log on anytime, day or night, to WISTV.com for all of the latest information on what's happening here in the Midlands. I'm Greg Adeline with today's top stories from the First Alert News Center.